This video will illustrate how to create the two equations when you are doing word problems for a systems of equations course. The first example has Vanessa buying seven cans of soup and five cans of stew for $19.50. It would cost $10.50 to buy three cans of each. What are the prices of a single can of soup and a single can of stew? I have decided to define my x and y as the price of one can of soup and the price of one can of stew. When you are working on creating the equations for these type of problems, usually the information for one of your two equations is separate from the information for the other equation. Sometimes it's a comma that separates them and sometimes it's a period. In this case it's a period. The first sentence, Vanessa buys seven cans of soup and five cans of stew for $19.50 gives me all the information I need to create my first equation. 7x plus 5y equals 19.50. And the information after that period in the second sentence, it would cost $10.50 to buy three cans of each, gives me all of the information I need to define my second equation. 3x plus 3y equals 10.50. If I use substitution, elimination, or comparison on these two equations, I will correctly answer this question. In the second problem, four years ago Barney was four times as old as Arnold. In 16 years, Barney will be twice as old as Arnold. I have defined my x and my y as Barney's age now and Arnold's age now. And here again, the first sentence gives us all the information we need for our first equation. Barney's age four years ago is represented by x minus four. The word was is the equal sign. Four times as old as means something is being multiplied by a four, so I put a four and a bracket. And then as old as Arnold means Arnold's age, but again, it's four years ago. So I have to express Arnold's age as y minus four, which will give his age four years ago. The second sentence says, in 16 years, Barney will be twice as old as Arnold. This equation works the same way. In 16 years, Barney is represented with x plus 16. The will be part of the sentence is the equal sign. 